Hey guys, welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, now we're going to talk about VeChain. We're going to take a look at VeChain on a macro scale and what type of a uh, price action we could anticipate over the next like a few uh, months and so on, right? So we're going to take a look at VeChain on a three weeks basis because the three weeks basis it is one of our best friends when we take a look at VeChain and why it is so important uh, on the macro scale, right? So uh, let's go ahead and dive in into the uh, uh, price history of VeChain first, right? And how we traded vchain like a uh, since uh, you know september 2019 right so when vchain was right around like a uh, 30 sat 40 sats right here back in 20 uh you know 2019 what we said was like we're going to be pumping all the way up to a uh, you know 100 sats give or take right so why 100 sats because most people are not paying attention to a uh, may 2019 right and june 2019 right here you can't see it on a three weeks basis but you can see it on a weekly basis right so if you notice well, if you notice well back in 2019, we got a sideways correction, right? Back in, uh, uh, you know, May through June, okay? Most people started calling for bull run and all that good stuff, but it was just a sideways sideways correction, okay? Started like a May 14, May 13, right? Through, uh, you know, first week of June before the dump to the downside. So what we said back then was like, we're going to be retesting our May, you know, resistance right here, May 2019. And guess what, guys? We pumped all the way up to like 100 sats and we got out. Okay, so we got in from like a 30 sats, right? Give or take, all the way up to 100 sats, give or take. And we said, what? Let's get out, right? We're going to be buying again at, you know, 30, 30 sats to 40 sats, right? So we got the sideways correction, dump all the way down to like a 40 sats. We got in again, guys. Guess what? We said, guys, we're going to be pumping all the way up to a 200 sats right there just about like a you know september august september 2018 resistance right there okay so that's where we got the pick right and we basically waited again guys for vchain to retest 70 sats to 50 sats bang okay i remember guys back in november 2020 first week of november we bottomed okay what i said was like it is time to reaccumulate vchain why it is time to reaccumulate vchain because we know whenever we basically bottom, we're going to move sideways for like a 60 days at least. Okay. We've seen it right here where we moved sideways for 60 days. Right here, we bottom back in March 2020 and we started the breakout like in May 2020. So over 60 days of sideways correction. So as long as we retested the bottom right here, we said, guys, let's just reaccumulate going into 2021. So guess what, guys? We got our last bottom right there. Okay. Like a first week of december right first week of uh, uh, january late december 2020 right so we moved sideways 60 days and guess what guys so we pumped from uh, 50 sats right all the way up guys to like a 470 sats beautiful move guys beautiful move i was targeting 600 sats right but we could not get to 600 sats but guys take a look at it it is nearly over 800 percent move in less than basically six months right so what we're looking at because we just talked about 60 days of sideways correction it is going to be quite important why 60 days of sideways correction for vchain is so important right if you take a look at it right here guys we take if you take a look at it we bottomed right just about like a july 16 okay 16 july 16 2021 and right now it is like october 8th 2021 okay give or take right October 8th, October 9th, depending where, where you live at, right? So as you can see right here, we got a nice right here sideways correction, nearly 100 days, guys. So this sideways correction, it is the longest bottom formation, right? We've seen on VHN. If we're expecting a, you know, a potential reversal to the upside, it is, one of the, it is one of the longest sideways correction, right? Since like when? Since basically 2019. So what I'm expecting right now for VeChain, right? I'm expecting a potential breakout. When we can break out, we don't know when we're going to break out, but we know our immediate resistance is going to be right here. Okay, just about like a 300 sats. If we can take out 300 sats, right, over the next like a few weeks and so on, we could definitely, all right, consolidate right here and we're going to be looking for our next upside target all the way up to a 600 sats. We already talked about 600 sats. If we take a look at it right here in terms of extension, if we just want to expect like one to one extension of our previous move, which is uh, basically from 50 sats 
up to a 477 give or take all the way down to a 190 right 120 extension going to take us right around like a 600 sats right there okay so now let's take a look at vchain usd if we if we take a look at vchain usd on the macro scale also right so you can see right here vchain usd we got we got a potential five wave structure to the upside right so we got our first wave uh, started back in march 2020 it pumped all the way up to a give or take like a two and a half cents right and we dumped down to the weekly uh, three weeks 21 ema and pumped right back up to a 27 right 28 cents right here and we got our bottom guys once again we're bottoming right around our three weeks 21 EMA, three weeks 21 ema right here first retest second retest fourth retest and we got our fifth retest guys we're not basically breaking out below it okay so it is a strong sign of bullishness if we go back and back test it back in uh, back in uh, basically uh, uh, september through uh, you know october november 2020 you can see like right here we could not even break out below it okay we just retested it bounce off retested it bounce off retested it bounce off okay that's the same exact pattern we seen right here. This is why I'm so bullish on VChain, right? You can see right here, one, two, three, four guys. What are we expecting? Break out to the upside, right? So we know our target versus BTC, okay? It is going to be uh, over 600 sats, right? So now let's try to estimate, right, our target versus the dollar, right? So if we take a look at it right here, in terms of, uh, uh, you know extension we could be expecting a short-term breakout target right up to 1.618 extension if you guys recall back in general what we were calling 63 to 70 sats you know uh, v chain we could not get to 60 uh, 60 sats and all that good stuff because we got basically a short-term rejection just about like a 25 to 27 cents we knew exactly guys we're gonna get some stuff we're gonna get a tough time to get to a 60 sats or even like a, you know uh, you know we could get higher than 60 sats but just to respect these fibonacci's right we definitely could be looking for our next immediate target all the way up to like a 63 let's take a look at it in terms of volume and why am i so bullish on uh, v chain on the macro scale once again the volume right here guys take a look at it bang 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 what do you notice guys the volume is decreasing since when may okay right now it is what october guys the cell volume been decreasing so now let's take a look at it right here previously right bang right here back in july 2020 bang right here august 2020 another one right here september 2020 we've been seeing what a decrease in volume now let's take a look at it right here when we started being bullish on vchain back in you know 2019 take a look at the volume you can't even see it guys you can't even you can't even see the volume and back then we were trading what vchain btc but let's take a look at vchain usd was showing us like a potential breakout to the upside all the way up to the year three weeks 21 ema so the three weeks 21 ema been our best friend ever since we broke out above it okay it is it is going to be one of our biggest challenge once we basically break out below it okay because as you can see right here we could not break out above it back in 2019 right also back in uh, 2020 we could not break out above it so we do not want to break out below it as long as we stay above the year three weeks 21 we're most likely going to stay bullish going forward okay so i don't think we in a bear market when i take a look at the macro scale i think v chain most likely going to be very very explosive going like uh, into q4 especially you know into q1 2022 and all that good stuff right so guys that's all i wanted to cover regarding v chain if you're new to our content don't forget to hit the likes don't forget to uh, join our public telegram group link in the description you can also join the discord public group link in the description thanks a lot for watching